hair one so in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to make staircases and spiral staircases. I hope you find this video useful, if you do please remember to hit that subscribe button to follow along with any future Planet Zoo tutorials. So let's get started. So to start off with we're going to look at creating some staircases. So you can see here we've got a 4 meter path, a 3 meter path and a 2 meter path. Now the 4 meter path is pretty straightforward. The 2 and the 3 does take a little bit of work but I'll take you through that step by step. Okay so we're going to start with our 4 meter paths and we've got angle snap turned to 90 degrees and I'm just going to click in twice and then make that risen and then again we're going to click in once, flatten it out go around the corner, around the corner again, raise that up twice, flatten it out, round the corner, round the corner again, raise that up twice, flatten it out, round the corner, round the corner again. So you can see there that that is basically creating our staircase. Now you might not like how it is looking because it's got these um, curves to it, what you can do is if you click to align to grid, then go to your section, click on it once, then delete it, and then you can see here you can now put that back in. Now I'm just going to do that same with the other one, so again if you go to paths, align to grid, click on it once, delete it, and then you can put it back in. Um, so that's essentially how you get these to look um, more square. Okay, so the next one we're going to look at is 2 meter and 3 meter paths. So let me just give you an example of how we build this. First of all, if you look at the 2 meter and 3 meter paths, the height of them is pretty much the same. However, they are structured slightly differently. So if I go away and grab any kind of path, you'll see that this goes 3 up. So 1, 2, 3 where this one only goes two up. If you were trying to make this to go two up, as I've done here, what you will find that it will be obstructed. See, obstructed there, you can't, you can't add it uh, anymore. So always kind of remember that if you're wanting it to go on a two meter path, you have to increase that by one. So it has to go three up in your staircase. But if it's a three meter path, it's only two sections to create that one. So once you've got that kind of figured out, what we want to do is that one is no use to us. So we'll go over here and we'll build a fresh one. So we've got our queue here. We've got our two meters selected. So again, that's three up. And then we're going to level that off. Now to get this guy to no longer be a queue, we're just going to delete him and we're going to just select our normal path, come back out again, delete him, go back in, select our normal path and then up at the top, delete him and then select our normal path. Now we've got this, the uh, other part to do, so one, two and then again we're going to go three up, so we'll just do that many for just now and again we're going to delete you and then put our normal path back in come out of there, get your ticket booth, delete that. Now this looks a bit funky, but don't worry about that. It will all nicely line up. And then in the corner here, delete that. And you've got this tiny little bit, but again, it will line it all up. It just means that you have to do it in uh, little increments and again, back to your paths. So essentially you just keep on doing that um, all the way around, build, delete uh, the pathways then replace it with the guest pathway so it doesn't have this ticket booth. Um, so that is how you do two meter and three meter paths. So just as in a little example of what you can do with this, when you get to the top of here, if you go into your normal paths and you can see here that that extends out. Now I want this to be a straight um, kind of viewing platform. So I'm going to go to align to grid and I'm just going to make that a nice grid piece there. I'm going to delete the bit in the middle you can see here now that that is actually dropped. It's no longer connected. So I'm going to go to my paths and I'm going to go and get my queue. And you can see here that's wanting to make a queue there. So I'm just going to click in once. So that's got this little bit that's connected to it. And then I'm going to go into my paths again. And you can see here if I delete that one, you can see it will connect nicely. So that is a good way to get this all nicely lined up and then your guests can come up and uh, have a look at animals 
um, and make it really nice. So next we're looking at some spiral staircases. This is your standard one here, your four meter path. And then I've got two examples of the two meter paths. Again, it's the same principle if you've done three meter paths, it just means that you would have to change the length. But let's get into how to build them. Okay, so we're gonna quickly look at our settings for uh, spiral staircases. So with curve slope ticked on, you can see here, that when I put this up, you can see it will move in these different increments depending on where my angle snap is set. If I take that off, it is rigid. You can't move that. Um, so always have curved slopes on. That will certainly benefit you. The next thing I want to quickly go over is to have railings on or off. So you can see here railing on elevation. So that's ticked on. If you didn't want to have the railings on, obviously take that off. You can see here now that has removed them. So these are the different um, elevations that you can get in your settings as well. So if you go down to your elevated length, now if I take that on, it starts off at 50. So that's 50 there. Then it goes up to 100, which is that one. Then it goes up to 150 and then two. 250, 3, 350 and 4. So that's the different increments that you can get which is actually quite helpful when you start making spiral staircases. So this is an example that um, I've just quickly thrown down as well. So I will show you guys how to make that. Um, so to start off with we'll do an absolutely basic one. So let's get any old path we want and I'm just going to have my uh, slope is um, that's selected. In fact, let's put it down to one and um, my angle snap is, uh, we'll put that down to 15. And all you have to do is click in. I'm wanting to have my curved, uh, my railings uh, on elevation. So you can see here when I start building this up and then curving it around to the as far as it can curve round is uh, basically what you're doing and all you need to do is you just have to keep on clicking until it forms uh, a little staircase so just keep clicking around as far as it can go and you're just clicking all the way around now this is obviously on a four meter path but you can change it. So there's one example there, but something like this looks probably a lot better. So I'm just gonna take my uh, cue here and we're just going to move that down to two. So I'm just gonna go and grab my tree here and we'll just copy this over um, and we'll put it up here. And then I'm gonna get my cue and my two meter is selected. So I'm just gonna go there. Now I want to have a lot of control in my uh, elevated length and I'm also I'm going to just actually turn angle snap off. So I'm going to go up and um, I'm going to go this way for a change and all I'm doing is clicking and again moving this as far around as it can possibly go um, and we're just going to build this up. I'm probably going to have to move that tree, but that's okay. And again, we're just going to make it as kind of tight as we possibly can and move it back around. So there we go. That's, that's kind of our uh, staircase forming nicely. So I'm, I'm quite happy with the way that's looking. I'm just going to actually grab my tree and we're just going to advance move that into place so you can see here that it is kind of slightly hitting on that side of the the pathway um, but apart from that it looks pretty good it's pretty tight into it but um, I think guests would probably go up there and uh, have a good time so we now need to change this so guests come up because currently it is a queue so if you go back into your paths and um, we're just going to have a normal path, let's let's use this uh, log one again. And I need to now make this uh, a log path instead of a queue path. So it's the same again, you go into here and you delete it. And then you go back into your log path and put that back in. And you can see here that that's now connecting to there, which is great, that's what we want. 
and then go in here and delete it. Now this is really, really fiddly. It will take you quite some time to get this all done um, with all the tiny little increments. So again, we'll just go in here, delete the main bit and then put the path back in. And again, delete the main bit and then put the path back in. So you just keep on doing this until you get to the very top. So let me just quickly show you that. So that is our tree in position now. So I'm just going to go away and open up the zoo so we can get some guests in. Okay, so that is it all finished. And you can see that we have some guests who look like they're a bit trapped. And that's because they are a little bit trapped. Um, they're doing like this really funky animation. Check out that. Beam me up, Scary. Um, so just a bit of a warning for this one. Guests can use it, but if they do use it, expect some really funky animations i guess because guests are they're used to walking on four meter paths so this guy is pure walking in the air We're walking in the i mean i don't know if he's a bit peeved off about that or not he's just wandering he's going home he's doing something um, so yeah, this is just a little bit of warning. I did put an animal in here just so I could get some guests up here in case you think, why do we have a protester? But yeah, you can see there, it's very funky animations. Um, so yeah, you can do this in your zoo. It does look cool, but be warned that you might have some funky, uh, some funky things going on. I, I love that. I absolutely love it. It's it's very entertaining to me anyway. So that is it from this video. I hope you did enjoy it and I hope it was useful. If it was, please do remember to hit that like button and also subscribe for more Planet Zoo tutorials. But until next one, guys, do take care and I'll see you next one.